welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday, March 7th at 10.05 in the morning. I just got back from the gym and I'm making some breakfast. I really wanted my oatmeal that I make literally every day because I'm obsessed with it, but we don't have any bananas. And it's just not the same without bananas. I've tried it with strawberries and it just doesn't hit. So I used up the last little bit of my Chobani Greek yogurt. I added some strawberries and my favorite coconut and chocolate chip granola and put some honey on top just because the Greek yogurt is plain. So you do need, or I personally need, a little bit more sweetness. So good. I'm just about to make my coffee and I actually started putting my collagen powder. I don't know why I pointed as if you guys could see it back into my coffee because I no longer am taking protein powder or this specific brand because as you guys can see it has been breaking me out i've been getting so many random breakouts and i don't know if gaining weight is correct but i've just been feeling so bloated and just big and i did some research and i found out that whey protein is known to cause acne and bloating because it has a lot of dairy in it so i stopped taking that and i'm not getting pimples anymore that is the only new thing that i added into my diet that I was taking four or five days a week, which is so frustrating. So Rochelle is on the hunt for a good vegan protein powder for us to use. I'm pretty sure she found one. I'll keep you guys updated, but I was putting my collagen into my protein powder and drinking them together just because it made sense to do that. But now I'm back to putting it in my coffee. Another update. That i have for you guys is i started taking athletic greens and i'm freaking obsessed with it let me get it because i keep it in the fridge you guys would have seen that earlier i drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach i've been seeing so many ads about this on youtube and it's just all over social media on tiktok and instagram so i had to try it for myself and i am obsessed with it i've only been taking it for three days now and every single day i'm not bloated at all it is actually amazing it's basically a powder that has all of your daily vitamins and minerals and whole foods that you need so i'm no longer taking vitamins because this just replaces everything i was so scared that i was gonna taste like shit but it's actually so good and i look forward to drinking it every single day so i'm gonna have it linked down below if you guys are interested in trying it it is kind of pricey but i bought the package where you get a water bottle and also i was supposed to get like a tin jar and a scoop but they never sent that to me so i reached out to them and they're sending me a new one which is super weird yeah i just want to share this because i did a recent morning routine i think a few weeks ago and everything is still the same except i've added this into my morning i drink it on an empty stomach and i just love it i have you guys resting on a toaster right now and I have Mike Wazowski myself. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing recently to make my coffee. I'm so addicted to it. I have these little stainless steel cups that I got from Amazon. I have two different sizes. I think these are technically for milk, but I brew my espresso shots in these just because it's a lot easier to just pour it in your coffee. Once I add in the two scoops of collagen, it takes up pretty much the whole cup. This is the collagen that I use if you guys are interested. I'm not too sure if I should still be taking this because of the athletic greens, but I'm just gonna continue taking it anyways. Brew my Bianca Leggero, which is a double espresso shot. It's pretty similar to Starbucks's Blonde Roast. I also saw on TikTok that you can refill Nespresso pods and I kind of want to do that for Starbucks blonde roast because unfortunately in Canada We don't have it yet. They already have it in the States for the Nespresso virtue, but Not here and it's so annoying And then I thrifted this shaker over the weekend. It's technically for cocktails, but I bought it for the purpose of making shaken espressos with it. We're gonna pour the espresso shot in here, add some cinnamon, and then I'm gonna add three ice cubes. And then I'm gonna add eight ice cubes in here. I'm gonna take the top off because it's pretty much a strainer. We're gonna pour the espresso. A 
become a mess. So it fills up just about under half of the cup. And then we're going to top it off with some of my barista edition oat milk. I really want to make some brown sugar syrup. I used to make it all the time last year because I think this is pretty much the brown sugar oat shake and espresso from Starbucks. And if I can recreate that at home, I will. And then I'm just gonna finish with a little bit of cinnamon on top. Perfection. She's amazing and good every time. 10, 24, we're back in my room. Taste test. Like incredible. Let me know if you guys try to make it, it's so easy. You pretty much just need some sort of espresso machine. But I'm going to sit here and answer some emails while I drink my coffee. I have a video going live at 11. Also, this is another thing I want to talk about. I was doing two videos a week for the past, I think, month and a half or two months. Just because I was going through it, to be honest. But I obviously still wanted to post. I was just feeling like super unmotivated and I think not seasonal depression but the dark winter was really getting to me. Took a much much needed social media break. If you guys follow me on like TikTok and Instagram I pretty much didn't post for like a month. Occasionally I would but I'm feeling so much better and I'm really excited to get back into posting three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday which is what I did for the longest time. Like I, I think a year and a half, no breaks. Okay, in the bathroom, just about to shower and it is hair wash day. I want to show you guys my gym outfit because I never showed you guys this morning, but I'm just wearing these set active biker shorts and this new Lululemon long line energy sports bra i got a few things at the mall over the weekend when i went shopping with my mom so i'll do a haul in this vlog a little bit later but i got some sports bras and i also got some new sneakers monday and that means it is also hair mask day so i'm using the way of fine to medium hair hair mask clip my hair back in the shower with this cove clip so when i do a hair mask so usually just hang it like that. And then also, I will be using my First Day Beauty exfoliant. I do that every Monday. Then every Thursday, I use my Way Detox shampoo. Okay, I'm out of the shower now. I put on my everyday jewelry and I'm just getting dressed for the day. I was planning on using my Dyson, but it is raining out and i'm just gonna clip my hair back anyway so i'm just gonna let my hair naturally dry and i'll probably put it in a bun while i'm out because i'm just about to go leave and run some errands so i'm going to the mall because i need to get some pants hemmed i went thrifting over the weekend with my mom and i found such amazing baggy jeans that are both levi's that i'm so excited about so they're both a size 32 i believe 32 by 30 yes and they're both the 550 relaxed so i found this amazing medium wash color like how stunning and then also this washed out black color these ones fit a little bit smaller in the waist than those i'm gonna try them on to show you guys but i just need them hemmed like a little bit in the waist so i'm hoping stitch it can do that and then i also have two other pairs of pants that i got at the thrift store that didn't fit i got two pairs of black because i didn't know which pair would fit me better because their dressing rooms weren't open okay so i got these envisioning to wear them really relaxed kind of like this as you can see they do fit me but there is a little bit of gaping in the back so i think if i just got it taken in like the tiniest bit just like that they would fit a lot better but how perfect are these i think they're gonna be really nice for spring and summer the length is everything like these are actually my dream pair of jeans that i've been looking for every single time i go to the thrift store and here's the other pair these are definitely my favorite i was actually screaming when i found these they're the perfect color 
and length and everything. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same pair of jeans, just in different colors because they look so identical. And then as you can see, this one has a lot more gaping at the back. So I just need them to take it in a little bit. Like, I don't think the fit around here would change, but they just need to like get rid of that at the back. And I will be wearing these nonstop. They're just everything. I'm really into the basic top and relaxed kind of mid-rise look right now. Here's the OTD. I just put my hair in a bun. I have the denim that I'm getting hemmed in this 437 tote. And then I have on this Sunday best button up that I got on Poshmark. My Princess Polly asymmetric jeans. Funny story. I was putting these on on the weekend and I broke the belt loop there trying to pull them up. I could not get them over my butt. So I guess my workouts are working. I need to probably get a size up. And then for shoes, I also got these over the weekend. They are the Chuck Taylor All-Star Converse. They're like a cream base. And I actually wore them to the gym this morning too. These are going to be my new gym shoes, but I'm also gonna wear them out. Just leaving the mall now. I was not expecting the jean alterations to be that expensive, but it was $75 for both of them, which is kind of insane. Yeah, 75, 71. Is that ridiculous? I feel like that's a lot, but I guess it is a lot of work because I didn't want them to take it in at the butt seam and make it tighter. So they said they had to do some specific alteration to keep the hips loose i'm hoping it looks good and i'm hoping i like didn't go too tight or anything because that would ruin the look i'm going for but i think it should be fine and i already went to the post office now i just need to go to value village to return those pants i don't think they do full refunds it's just store credit but that's fine, I will use it eventually. I got home about half an hour ago. I went to Value Village to exchange or like get a store credit for the pants, but apparently they don't do store credits and they only do exchanges. So I just kept the bag in the back of my car and the next time I go thrifting, I can just make an exchange, but it has to be within two weeks. So that was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I just made some lunch. It's a turkey BLT with egg. So I put three slices of turkey, two eggs, two slices of tomato, buttered the toast, and added some lettuce. I'm gonna sit here and eat while I watch some YouTube videos on my laptop. Just opened up one of my kombuchas. I just remembered I had a few of these in my fridge and I got so excited. This is my all-time favorite kombucha and I've been getting really back into it. I didn't have kombucha for like six months. I kind of forgot about it. And then I rediscovered it and I found this new mint and chlorophyll flavor by Rise and it is literally chef's kiss. I get mine at Shoppers. I'm sure they also have it at Farm Boy, but you guys should try it. It tastes incredible. All right, guys, it's a little bit later. It is 3.30, and I thought I would show you guys what I got at the mall over the weekend. So I briefly touched on that I went to Lululemon, and one of the sports bras that I got was the one that I was wearing this morning. It's the Energy Longline sports bra. I just got it in black, size four. It is kind of tight. I feel like I maybe could have gone up a size, but it will work, does the job. I have the regular length of the energy bra in black size 4 that was my mom's old sports bra she gave me in like grade 11 so I've been wearing it for probably 6 years and I think it was time to upgrade. I can already feel how much better quality, not better quality but it's just newer. I mean yeah it just has like the crisscross and the Lulu logo in the back. I wore that today so I need to wash it. And the other sports bra that I got is this one. I wasn't planning on getting two. I just wanted to get one, but I saw this one on the sale rack and I thought, why not? It was $29, which is very unheard of for Lululemon. I mean, sometimes their stuff goes on sale, but I feel like $29 is really good. So this one's a high neck and it also like cuts in at the side. So flattering on. 
especially if you're fuller chested. This one again is like a longer lined bra and then the back is what really sold me on it. It is so beautiful. It has like all these strappy crossing details and then it just has the Lulu logo in the back. It's like an orangey red color and I think I'm gonna wear this one tomorrow when I go to the gym and do upper body. So I got those from Lululemon and then like I mentioned, I got a new pair of Converse. I got these from Little Burgundy. It was the very last size in this shoe, so I got super lucky. The sole of it is different. It's also a cream base, and it kind of comes on to the top of the shoe a little bit more. Also, the laces, the fabric, the shoe itself is just very different than my other high top Converse, so really happy about these, and... I'm obsessed with them. I just found I wasn't really loving my high top, my platform Converse anymore, and I really wanted the cream. So I'm selling those on my Poshmark, and I got these instead. I think maybe in the future I'm going to get the platform white Converse because I think I would wear those a lot more than the platform black. And also, I'm trying to decide between my two pairs of Dickies. I talked about in my last video about how I ordered a 31 by 30 and 32 by 30 and I'm just trying to figure out which size I like better and I cannot for the life of me decide. So I'm gonna try them on again and I have to make a decision because I have been going back and forth trying these on for like an hour a day for the past three days and I'm just avoiding making a decision. So I'm gonna try both of them on and show you guys what they look like but I need to decide so i'm gonna try on the smaller pair first these are the 30 by 30s and i would say these ones fit me perfectly um they're still loose in the waist the only problem i was having is the back doesn't like completely fold properly but that's just because i think i have a bigger butt and these are also men's pants so they just fit differently so i like these ones if I'm going to wear them lower or if I am going to undo them because they fit pretty perfectly. But I'm not too sure how I feel about them when I do them up and roll them. I feel like they look a little bit small, but I could just be going crazy. Yeah, like I think I'm crazy because looking in the mirror, these look like they fit. The only thing that bugs me is like that they don't fold completely at the top but it's not really the end of the world. The problem is I try one on and I'm like, okay, no, this is the one. It fits exactly how I want. And then as soon as I put the other pair on, I think the same thing. And here is the bigger pair. So these are 32. See, cause I put these on, I'm like, no, these fit great. The only difference is these ones are the slightest bit bigger in the waist and also a little bit looser in the legs and butt which therefore makes the folding a little bit easier in the back. But they're also really loose in the waist. I've decided that I'm going to sell the 31 by 30. So I just listed that on my Poshmark. I just found that the 32 was a lot more of a relaxed fit in the legs and butt especially, which is what I was looking for. It was a little bit big in the waist for my liking, but I would rather it fit me in the butt and legs properly and plus these are like my vision with these dickies was to be super oversized so i think the 32 is the best option if this is still available when this video goes live if you guys are a size 24 or 25 waist i would say probably 24 would look best with these just because i'm a 25 hi besties it is several hours later it is 7 40 i just finished eating dinner and everything and i'm back in my room with my red or i guess it's pink setting on and i'm just about to start a new book i finished ugly love by colleen hoover last night i have never cried in a book before or i think i cried in it ends with us but i was sobbing for 20 minutes straight that was the best colleen hoover book i've read i've only read two it ends with us and ugly love and i just why is there a book <laughs> and i just love Ugly Love was way better. Absolutely love the ending. But I'm about to start Verity. What? Do you guys see this like fly? I'm about to start Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is my last 
backup book. Tinsel is piecing out. Hi, sister. <laughs> it's my last backup book. So I have a list going on my phone, but you guys need to comment down below other book recommendations because I will definitely finish this one before the end of the month. And here's where I'll be for a little bit before I FaceTime my boyfriend. Something so satisfying about a fresh new book. Okay guys, it is just about 11 o'clock. I also had a chamomile tea, but I'm going to sign off for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life vlog. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in a few days with a new video.